how to connect the mate dock in the audio visual control system and integrate it with tuya app this video demonstrates how to integrate the mate dock module with the audio visual controlled system and tuya app here we have the av controller dock module and the tuya gateway module connect the mate dock module to the controller with the usb to type c data cable and power it on you can see from the module's mate dock that the red light is on and the green light flashes after connection. Next, we need to open the Tuya app on the smartphone and proceed to add the gateway. Please ensure that you have switched your Wi-Fi frequency to 2.4 GHz instead of 5 GHz. Remember to click on the save button after adding the gateway to the Tuya app. The next step is to turn on your PC and launch the conductor programming software. In the conductor software, set up a new project, fill out the necessary information, and then connect to the AV controller host. Please log into the controller host and load the latest data. Click the controller, select, add new module, and choose Deox drive from the list. Update the data configuration and deploy to the controller host. To access the configuration page, simply double click on the Deox drive 1.0 button. Access the cloud driver library by selecting add new driver from the menu. Log into the cloud driver library and search the database for the mate dock to your driver. Then download it. Click on the deploy button to update the data for the controller host. Follow the instructions that appear in the pop-up window to restart the controller and log in again. To access the configuration page of the Mate Dock Tuya driver, open the driver management window and click on the driver. Before proceeding, select Enter Pairing Mode from the action list. Then, click on Execute. You can observe that the green light on the Mate Dock module is blinking rapidly. Let's go back to the Tuya app on your smartphone to add this device to the Tuya gateway. You can see that the green light on Mate Dock flashes normally after adding the device to the Tuya app. Once the Mate Dock is added, you will be able to access the control interface. Let's move on to creating control scenes for the Mate Dock module. You can see two tabs in the Tuya app, Automation and Tap to Run. In this context, Automation signifies that the Mate Dock module can receive scene control commands sent from the controller host and seamlessly execute them within the Tuya system. Tap to Run entails that commands sent from the Tuya system are received by Mate Dock and executed within the A or V control system. Next, let's initiate tap to run by sending scene control commands from the Tuya app. Let's create some typical scenes and names these scenes as enter, leave, movie, and music. Ensure you've chosen the mate dock module as the designated executing device. When you click on these scene buttons, the controller will receive a push notification from the mate dock module. Next, proceed to configure scenes in the automation tab. For example, when the mate dock receives push notifications from the controller host, set up actions to turn on or off or dimming specific Tuya lamps.
After completing the configurations in the Tuya app, return to the conductor software to set up similar scenes. For instance, if the controller receives a push notification from the Mate Dock module to execute Enter Scene, pre-program the corresponding scene execution. To deepen our understanding, let's utilize the template to incorporate additional devices, such as amplifiers, projectors, players, set-top boxes, etc. Following this, we can establish various execution scenarios. So, let's create new execution scenes now. The setup for the new executing scenes is complete. When the controller host receives a push notification from the Mate Dock module in the Tuya app, the corresponding scene listed here will execute seamlessly. Next, let's configure some buttons on the AV Control System's remote control for scene control. Once you press these buttons, the corresponding scene listed in the Automation tab of the Tuya app will execute instantly. We can use the Wizard of C Engine here to generate the scenes automatically. This topology diagram shows the connections between devices and the amplifier. Let's link each device based on its actual connection. For example, if your AV controller is plugged into the HDMI 1 port, drag it from the right column to the D1 label. Then set up the power switches sequence for each of the devices and link the trigger condition for the remote buttons and mate dock module and set the status of each devices when running the corresponding scenes, etc. Click on the Generate Scenarios button after the connection relationship setup completed. Check the scenes generated here and make any needful modifications or change scene names. After completing the configuration of all these scenes, remember to deploy the settings to the controller host. After deploying the configurations, you can upload this data to the cloud server. Thanks for watching.